Good morning students. Today we will discuss characteristics of thyristor or SCL silicon controlled rectifier. So thyristor is a switch. It is a semi controlled switch. Every switch has two characteristics. Static characteristics and dynamic characteristics. Static characteristics means characteristics of a switch when it is in its on state or its off state. Dynamic characteristics means characteristics of a switch when it changes from one static state to another static state. Means from on state to off state or from off state to on state. So today we will discuss static VI characteristics of SCR. The static VI characteristics of SCR is divided into three modes of operation. Reverse blocking mode, forward blocking mode and forward conduction mode. Reverse blocking mode, forward blocking mode means the switch is in off state. Forward conduction mode means switch is in the on state. So first consider reverse blocking mode. So as the name indicates reverse blocking mode. So the SCR is connected in reverse biased. That is the anode of the SCR is connected to negative of the supply and cathode is connected to positive of the supply. Here we are providing the gate cathode supply through a switch. Here switch S is open. When the anode is connected to negative and cathode is connected to positive of the supply, we can see that the junction J1 and J3 are reverse biased and the junction J2 is forward biased because N is connected to negative and P is connected to positive. So the junction J2 act as forward biased. Due to this condition, a small leakage current of the order of few milliamperes flows through the circuit from cathode to anode because here positive, here negative, so positive to negative. So here the circuit is reverse biased, therefore the voltage is minus Va and the current flowing from cathode to anode that is opposite to the normal current flow, so the current is minus Ia. Due to the reverse biased condition, as the voltage increases, a small leakage current flows through the circuit. A small leakage current flows through the circuit from cathode to anode. If the reverse voltage is increased at a particular voltage, known as reverse breakdown voltage, VBR, the avalanche breakdown of the junction J1 and J3 occurs. Therefore, the reverse current increases rapidly. A large current associated with this breakdown voltage produces more losses in the SCR. This may lead to thyristor damage. The thyristor in the reverse blocking mode may therefore be treated as an open switch. So this is the off state of the switch. So next one is forward blocking mode. When anode is positive with respect to cathode with the gate circuit open, thyristor is said to be forward biased. So here J1 J3 are forward biased but junction J2 is reverse biased. In this mode, a small current called a forward leakage current flows. Here, a small current called forward leakage current flows through the circuit from anode to cathode. So, here also circuit is in, circuit is in the off state. So here the SCR act as open switch. This one is forward conduction mode. Here also anode is positive with respect to cathode 
and gate circuit is open and here we are increasing the voltage VA. We are increasing the voltage VA. At a particular voltage known as forward breakover voltage. Represented as VBO. At a particular voltage called forward breakover voltage. The avalanche breakdown of the junction J2 takes place. So, the thyristor changes from its off state to on state. You can see that when a switch changes from its off state to when a switch changes from its off state to on state, current increases and voltage approximately equal to zero. But here a small voltage drop occurs. A small voltage drop occurs. So this portion is the voltage drop. This one is the voltage drop. The current increases rapidly. This is the forward conduction mode. So in this state, the thyristor acts as closed switch. That is, it is the on state of the thyristor. Consider the case when gate circuit is closed. That, that means switch S is closed. So here we are applying a positive gate current Ig. Due to this gate current, the charge carriers are injected into the junction J2. The thyristor is turned on before reaching the maximum voltage VBO. If we are applying a gate current IG1. Suppose we are applying more voltage. Therefore, gate current value increases to IG2. If gate current increases more rapidly, the thyristor is turned on. This one is IG2. So, thyristor turned on before reaching forward breakover voltage. If we are again increasing the gate current, it will turn on at very very low voltage. So this one is IG3. And also you can see that IG3 greater than IG2 greater than IG1. Therefore, we can conclude that the forward voltage at which Device switches to on state depends upon the magnitude of gate current IG. Higher the magnitude of IG, lower the applied forward voltage. The complete VA characteristics of SCR is shown here. This portion acts as reverse blocking mode OM. This portion acts as forward blocking mode and this portion acts as forward conduction mode. And this one is latching current IL and this one is holding current IH. Here we can mark two currents, holding current and latching current. So this portion, this one is the latching current IL and we are here this one is the holding current IH. So this one is the holding current IH and this one is the latching current IL and IH. So now we will discuss what is holding current and what is latching current. So holding current is the minimum value of anode current below which the device stop conducting and returns to its off state. The value of this current is very small uh, in the order of milli amperes. Next one is latching current. Latching current is the minimum on state anode current required to keep the device in on state after 
the triggering pulse that is gate pulse is removed always il is greater than ih il is latching current and ih is holding current the ratio of latching current and holding current is equal to 2.5 to 3 thank you